This year, the International Congress on Vegetarian Nutrition marks the 100th anniversary of the School of Nutrition and Dietetics. Join us as we travel back to the year 1908, at the beginning of Loma Linda's history. The year is 1908. Americans are still reeling from the effects of the Civil War, and the Arizona and New Mexico territories have not yet been admitted into the Union. Teddy Roosevelt is president, and in October, Henry Ford will introduce his Model T car to the world. It is the dawn of the 20th century, and most diseases are directly related to nutritional deficiencies and poor sanitation. Healthy living means staying away from sun, and nutrition is a relatively new word, rarely appearing in American hospitals where patients are fed mush, molasses, and beer for breakfast. It was in this time, 100 years ago, that the Department of Nutrition and Dietetics was born, offering Loma Linda's first class in nutrition. But unlike other nutrition schools, this program pioneered a completely vegetarian approach to meal planning. The curriculum, as it does today, included courses in anatomy, physiology, and chemistry. The Seventh-day Adventist Church was founded in the 1860s. One of the core values that these early Seventh-day Adventist leaders had was of health, particularly relating to diet. When the property was purchased here at Loma Linda in 1905, the vision was to have a training school where these core values could be incorporated into the values of young people. The second program that began here at, on the campus of Loma Linda was the Hygienic Cooks and Bakers School. And the specific objective of this program was to teach appropriate cooking and baking so that this could be shared with the community members in the local area and around the world. But the world was not quite ready. Popular nutritional science had not yet accepted vegetarianism, and for this reason, Loma Linda would struggle 50 long and difficult years until the American Dietetic Association would approve the fledgling program. The department was first located in the basement of the men's dorm, where many of the students eventually became full-time dietitians for surrounding hospitals. The nutrition program was practical from its earliest beginnings. Classes were divided into two sections, which allowed students to study and work every other month in nearby approved culinary departments. Each student had a replacement in the other half of the class, and together, they were able to hold down one full-time job. In such practical experience as this, there is abundant opportunity for the student to develop initiative, observation, and responsibility, without which the theoretical part of their education would be far less effective. In 1942, a financial crisis caused the board to look closely at its total operations. Loma Linda's emphasis on a lacto-ovo-vegetarian diet did not satisfy the ADA's accreditation standards, and attendance was dropping. That year, the department recorded a deficit of $6,000 a serious liability for the institution. In the months that followed, it became clear that if the ADA did not accept the vegetarian program, the school would surely close. In the meantime, Mervyn G. Harding, College of Medical Evangelist, Class of 1942, successfully defended his thesis, leading to a doctorate of public health and nutrition from Harvard University. His landmark research concluded that a lacto-ovo-vegetarian diet was not inferior to a non-vegetarian diet. His study at the time was reported as the most comprehensive study of vegetarians that has yet been completed, and it covered the nutritional adequacy of a vegetarian diet on a scientific basis for the first time. After the publication of several key nutrition studies, public opinion began to change. Nutritional knowledge increased, attitudes changed, and vegetarians entered the mainstream. 
In 1957, the Loma Linda program in dietetics was finally approved by the ADA, and five years later, enrollment tripled. Since its earliest beginnings, Loma Linda has made significant contributions to the written documentation of nutrition. I'm pleased to introduce to you a very important document that has come from Loma Linda University. The first edition is the first vegetarian diet manual in the world, dated 1945. Notice it has 100 pages. Unique to it, there were four meat alternate products at that time. They are analyzed for carbohydrate, protein, and fat. That series has continued with dietitians practicing in acute care facilities related to Loma Linda University, as well as faculty at Loma Linda University. This is the only series of vegetarian diet manuals in the world. Currently, the 2003 edition has 125, not four, 125 meat alternate products analyzed for not three, but 23 different nutrients. This covers diet recommendations throughout the entire diagnosis spectrum so that physicians order diets, dietitians turn to the diet manual for the foods that should be used and should not be used for a particular diet. In 1969, at the request of the American Dietetic Association, prolific writer Lydia Sonnenberg co-authored with faculty members Kathleen K. Zolber and Dr. U.D. Register the ADA's first continuing education manual on vegetarian diets. Dr. Zolber continued to serve in various capacities in the ADA and in September of 1982 became president of the 50,000 member association. Over the years, the Department of Nutrition and Dietetics has changed dramatically, but its health message and commitment to community has remained. For more than a century, Loma Linda has been at the forefront of vegetarian health, with more than 1,000 alumni in the field of nutrition spread throughout the world. Today, one AS, one BS, four masters and one DRPH nutrition degrees are offered from Loma Linda as public interest in vegetarian nutrition reaches an all-time high and continues to grow every day. Join us in celebrating this long history of nutrition education.